for the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. And I'll be going through the past, present challenge, and outcome. So Leo, in the recent past we have the Five of Pentacles. Now this is not, or it would have not been a happy indicator when it comes to love questions. You probably had your eye on someone who you felt was not treating you the way that you thought they should. It might be that you needed to stop fantasizing about this person entirely. This card can be very much a card of feeling left out in the cold. So it would have been important to remember that there is never only one person that we can be with and have a soul level happy meaningful relationship because when love is right you you will not have to do backflips to make it work so you would have needed to broaden your horizons and try hard to think positive at that time that's the five of pentacles paired with the page of wands now page of wands it's about messages of love and affection they were likely coming your way at that time. If you were single, a new suitor with whom you have a lot in common and who is very adventuresome, probably burst into your world. So you you might have or you should have took, take, you probably did take a chance on them. Okay, maybe you did and maybe you didn't. Um, but this card is showing that you should have taken a chance on them if you were available. If you are committed and unhappy in the relationship, then would have been the time to begin deciding if the relationship could have been saved. How long you try to make it happen would be the next question. Both parties would have been willing to work on the relationship just to make it work or to get it right and also if your partner isn't or if he wasn't able to uh, try to make it work for, work out for the two of you it might have been time to move on and that's the recent past now let's move on to the present we have the eight of swords now the eight of swords it points to a need to seriously reevaluate a relationship you may be sticking with someone that is actually bad for you since you probably figure it's better than nothing if that is the case rethink being in an unhealthy relationship is much worse than being alone and if you're looking for love first look at how well you love yourself because someone else cannot come along and fix you so you'll need to start where you are and the Eight of Swords is paired with the Ten of Wands. Now the appearance of the Ten of Wands, as you can see, it's showing in the picture a hard place in a relationship. It can be, it can be that your lover is undergoing a rough time that has nothing to do with your relationship, but it needs your support. More than often, it indicates that there's something in the relationship that needs to be examined, looked at, and considered. You will not gain by pretending that there are no problems. So if you're in the market for love, don't despair. Your time will come eventually. But perhaps now is a good time to put a stop to your search and just take some time for rest and reflection. With these two cards paired together, the Eight of Swords, it's time to reevaluate a relationship. You could be sticking with someone because uh, you figure it's better than nothing and it's paired with a ten of wands. Uh, you're having you're probably having some difficulties or trouble in the relationship and um, your partner is probably going through a rough time. It could be you but uh, probably your partner is going through a rough time. So with these two cards paired together, they're both saying uh, sort of the same thing. 
uh, rough times in the relationship and they need to be re-evaluated and re-examined, looked at and considered. So pretty much with both of them, you will not gain by pretending that there are no problems. So it's at a point where you just need to work on the relationship. And that's the present. And we move on to the challenge. We have the Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords, if you're already in a committed relationship, it's a clear message that trust is crucial. If you're feeling suspicious for some reason about your partner, make it a point to talk about it, even if it's difficult. Being passive aggressive is only going to make things worse. If you're looking for love, you may meet someone interesting now, but try to avoid appearing as though you are not interested. Because prospective suitors, they'll move on to someone who is more engaging. So strive for balance at this time. Now the Seven of Swords is paired with the Nine of Wands. With the Nine of Wands, it's going to be important to remember that no relationship and nothing on earth can stand up to constant picking apart, um, nagging criticism. So try to give your lover some breathing space. If you are single and looking for love, understand that the time may simply not be right for you right now. Ask yourself, are there things about you that you would like to change? This will be a good time to get yourself together whole emotionally so that when you are ready for a relationship, the person that you attract into your life will be together. They'll be whole also. So don't be in too much of a hurry at this time. And with these two cards paired together, the Seven of Swords is about trust. You might be feeling suspicious for some reason about your partner. So you need to talk, communicate, even if it's difficult. It's paired with a uh, uh, nine of wands. Uh, when you talk and communicate and uh, try to uh, understand, get some understanding about um, your feelings of suspicious with your partner, Make sure you're not um, uh, picking, doing too much, um, picking the relationship apart. Because as I mentioned before, no relationship can stand up to constant uh, picking apart criticism. Make sure you're not doing too much of that while you're trying to work on your suspicious, your suspiciousness about your relationship. Um, because um, that will probably make matters worse. <laughs> yeah, so try to do it with tact, with, with care when you're communicating to your partner about some suspicion or, or fear. And um, if you're single, uh, like I said, try to avoid appearing as though you're not interested. Because people will move on to someone who's more engaging. And uh, also, it's a good time to get yourself together. So that uh, when you do attract the person that's right for you, you'll attract the right type of person. Okay, so that's going to be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the Ace of Swords. Now the Ace of Swords, when it comes to love and relationships, it can mean that you are ready to start something new and if you're currently in a committed relationship it can indicate that there's something about the relationship that you're going to choose to put a stop to don't hesitate to speak your mind at this time if you feel the relationship is hurtful or bad for you and you lose your partner because you say so just know you haven't really lost you're being guided towards a relationship that's better for you. The Ace of Swords is paired with the Nine of Pentacles. Now this is an excellent card in the tarot with regard to love. If you're currently committed, you can expect the relationship to rise to new heights 
of intimacy and joy. If you are unattached and looking, this card tells you that someone new who has what it takes to be a new meaningful deep love could be headed your way soon. So smile. Now with these two cards paired together, the Ace of Swords, you are ready to start something new. Also, if you're in a relationship, there's something about the relationship you're gonna choose to put a stop to. Not it's not that not it's not that you're going to stop the relationship, but it's something in the relationship, something about the relationship you're gonna to choose to put a stop to. And it's paired with the nine of pentacles. Uh, once you put a stop to that with the nine of pentacles, it's gonna take the relationship to new heights of intimacy and joy. So whatever is in the relationship that you feel you need to put a stop to, it comes to a stop, which is good because it takes the relationship to a much better place. You guys will uh, have a much better relationship once it comes to a stop, whatever it is. The cards do not tell me what it is, so I can't tell you what it is either, but this is a good thing. This is a very good outcome. Uh, new, the relationship will rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. So go ahead and put a stop to it, whatever it is. And if you're single, someone new who has what it takes to be in a new, meaningful, deep love, they're, headed, they're coming towards you really soon. So smile. The world loves a happy person. And that's going to be the outcome. So Leo, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.